back to Bochinata and Bochinata.com. My name is Nicole. For those of you who don't know, in this channel you will find everything related to macrame, from macrame tips and tricks tutorials to DIY videos. You should be able to get a lot of valuable macrame content right here. If you guys do find the content valuable, please click that subscribe button to stay tuned for more. So in today's video, we'll be going over three different senate and chain patterns. The first one's called an Aztec Sun. The second one is a candy stripe, which is perfect for the upcoming holiday season to make candy canes. And the third one is called the Chain Bar. Some good projects that you want to, some good projects that you may want to incorporate these patterns in are, say, for example, plant hangers. You can make fairly easy plant hangers with fairly simple patterns, but if you want your plant hanger to stand out from the rest, you might want to try incorporating something different, and a way to do that is incorporating a different pattern. So these senate and chain patterns are perfect for plant hangers because you can start from the ring and then make them all the way down. These patterns are also good for making wall hangings and adding layers onto them or making garlands or even making jewelry from them. I will be using some of these chain patterns in some of my future DIY pattern tutorials so make sure you guys stay tuned for that to see how I incorporated them into my macrame pieces. So today's tutorial goes through three different senate patterns but I do have another tutorial that goes through 50 different knots and senates. So if you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make these 50 different knots and senates, you can check out the video tutorial up here, or you can download the free PDF ebook on bochina.com. If you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you let me know what you thought of today's tutorial in the comment section below. And with that, let's begin. The first chain we're going to make today is called the Aztec Sun. And we're going to attach a strand of cord onto the dowel using a lark's head knot. Then we're going to take another strand of cord and bring the middle of it to the top where it meets the lark's head knot. We're going to fold both ends of that new strand of cord on top of each other and then we're going to take the middle right cord and we're going to weave it through the top loop formed from that new strand of cord and through to the right. So we're pulling that middle right cord through the loop to the right. Then we're going to do the same thing with the middle left cord. Pull it through the loop at the top and then out to the left. Then pull on those side cords to tighten. Now taking that same right cord that we had just weaved through the top loop, we will make a vertical lark's head knot on the right cord in the middle. Then using the left cord, we're going to repeat the same thing and make a vertical lark's head knot onto the left middle cord. Then taking the middle cords, we're going to cross them over and then repeating a similar step that we did in the very beginning, we're going to take the far right cord and we're going to bring it down 
and then up through the loop in the middle at the top. So we're going to bring it through the hole and then over to the right. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the left side with the far left cord, bring it through to the middle and then up through the loop. Then pull on the side cords to tighten the knot. And there you have made one section of this knot. I'm going to show you how to make this section one more time by repeating the same pattern again. And then you should be able to follow the same pattern and make a long Aztec sun senate. After you've made a few of these knots, this is what the Senate should look like. The next Senate we're going to make is called the Candy Stripe. So this is a great pattern to use when you're trying to incorporate two different color cords to make a striped pattern. So I've started off by attaching a strand of pink cord onto the dowel and then I'll be attaching a white strand of cord to the right of it. To begin the pattern, we're going to start with the far left cord and attach it onto the second cord using a reverse clove hitch knot. The pattern that we're going to make for this candy stripe chain is a reverse clove hitch knot pattern. Then continue using that same cord and make two more reverse clove hitch knots to the right. Once you have made three of them, we're going to start again with the same pattern with the far left cord here and repeat with three more reverse clove hitches to the right.
starting from the far left again, we're going to use the white cords and take that far left cord and make a reverse clove hitch knot on the second cord. And then repeat with two more reverse clove hitches to the right. Then start again to the left with the far left cord and make another row of three reverse clove hitches. Keep repeating this striped pattern and this reverse clove hitch knot pattern until you've reached your desired length. After a few more rows, this is what the pattern looks like. The third center that we're going to make is called the chain bar. And we're going to start off by taking one strand of cord and we're going to weave it over top the dowel and through to the back. Pull on the back end so that it's even with the front so that what's hanging at the top of the dowel is the middle of the cord. We're going to take the front cord, loop it from behind and through the loop on the side to the right. Then we're going to take a second strand of cord and we're going to do the same thing as the right but we're going to make a mirror image so everything will go to the left this time. Once you have pulled the cord through, we're going to take that front cord Weave it from behind and through the loop to the left. Then we're going to cross the left and the right strands of cord over and top of each other. And then we're going to take that right cord and we're going to weave it from the back to the front downwards. Then we're going to take that same strand of cord and weave it behind the right cord and make a little loop and then take that end and pull it through the loop from bottom up. Then on the left side, we're going to take that middle left cord and we're going to weave it from the back through the middle and downwards. Then you're going to take that left end and take it through the middle and through that loop on the left. All you have to do now is pull on the cord so that the knot sits at the top. You have just made one knot and now we're going to repeat this pattern again by folding the left 
and the right cords on top of each other. And then we're going to take that right cord here, weave it through the back middle to the front, and we're going to keep that loop on the right there, but we're going to weave it underneath that right cord first, and then we're going to weave that end through the loop from bottom up. Then we're going to do the same thing with the far left cord. We're going to take it through the back, middle, back down, through the left cord, and then through the loop on the left. Pull on the cords to tighten. Keep repeating this pattern till you've reached your desired length. Once you've repeated the pattern a few times, it should look like this. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure you click subscribe to stay tuned for more.